When I first came to college, I was faced with a lot of new opportunities. I was given the opportunity to drink, um, hang out with girls all the time, uh, go to parties, and really just experience life without like parental control. I, I wasn't truly happy with the life I was living, but this was the first time that I was 100% in control of my life. There's 5,000 Greeks on this campus. There's 50 houses. And so we often would say if just one or two people would come know Jesus in that fraternity or sorority, it would like drastically change the whole house. We ended up staying at Sigma Phi Epsilon and getting to know several of those guys. Um, before too long, there's about 10 guys that were connecting in that fraternity. It went from four houses to six houses to eight houses, and then now it's, I think it's at 12 or 13 houses, where they all have their own Bible discussions. There's probably about 120 students involved now. Finding the Napsen College is finding God in a place that you don't expect to find God, especially in the Greek system. Like, that was not my first thought. Like, when I went Greek, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna find God here. When I signed my bid card, that was not the thought of my mind. When Adam first came to, to college, I think he somehow jumped into one of the Bible discussions. And then, you know, one of his best friends, this guy named Toy, was coming to the University of Washington. So it was interesting to invest in Adam and then connect with Toy. As I spent time with both those guys, it was pretty fun to see how it affected their fraternity. Him being a year younger than me and me having this organization, the Navigators, to like go to, and now to see him kind of grow, it's really that invest in the few so they can invest in the many, because I've literally seen the transformation of Toy. I saw the way Keith almost took me under his wings and just would spend just undivided attention. So I thought that approach to discipleship was really, really effective. And I was just on my way to go study and finish my business school application. I was like super stressed out. I was just like, ah, just get, get today over with. Walked in and I like see Toy and Adam and they're leading like a Devo in the TV room. The message just really spoke to me. It was like Matthew 6, 25, don't be anxious. And I was like, hey, I'm anxious right now. This is kind of weird. It's totally fitting in my life. So then Toy asked Clayton, hey, do you want to meet together on a weekly basis just to read the Bible? And because of that Bible discussion, Clayton was all over it. He says, I'm in. The first time I applied to the business school, I didn't get accepted. And I was devastated. I'd done everything that I possibly could have to get in. I thought I was going to get in, and I didn't. That was three months into my faith. But I just kind of thought, like, why would this happen? Good news or bad news? I always think, why are you giving this to me or doing this for me? And now Clayton is actually the president of his fraternity. He has a lot of influence in his chapter, and I have no doubt he's already thinking about who to invest in. I've had a couple that have come in and asked if they can just read with me. And I love that. I'm like, of course, yeah. Like, what do you want to read? Like, let's do this. It's just like really like small things. It's easy um, to change someone's life. And now I, I live completely differently than I would have had I not found the nav navigators. As Christ enters into their heart, he, he just chases away the darkness. He chases away all those temptations. His light drives out the darkness. Being baptized is like the best feeling. And I looked over at Toy and I was just like, thank you so much. It's not necessarily like I'm gonna go out there and try to disciple everybody, but I'd say that I'm going to be discipling people for the rest of my life. I wouldn't be in the place I am now without the navigators. I wouldn't have found Christ. I was like, I'm at the perfect spot in my faith right now in showing the world that Clayton Hunter is, is a faithful person of God um, and a disciple now.